Welcome back to Parenting Bees. So today we're going to be looking into one of our hives that uh, we've recently put another super on. So they've got two supers. Um, we're going to be looking to see how they're drawing, how much honey they're bringing in and is it ready? So the second super that we put on was just foundation sheets. It was 10 frames. Um, so we, we need to see how they're progressing and we will do a, a normal hive inspection for this time, which is swarming season. So we are looking for queen cells and other activities. So uh, let's get kitted up, let's get in the hive. So we're going to have a look into the honey supers just to see how they're doing. So I did put another super on underneath this one about 10 days ago. So we will be having a look at that to see if um, they're drawing quite well. Let's have a random look. very heavy so yeah that is ready to be extracted look at that we'll have another look at the ends They have been busy. this one off. Mm -hmm. This is going to be ever so heavy. Yep. So this mm -hmm. one is the newer super and this was just plain wax strips. So we're going to see if they are building. I mean, they've done that in 10 days. And they're filling it as well. So that's quite impressive. Let's have another look at one around here. So again, all drawn and honey. So making sure that you've got enough room in a hive is critical at this point, especially in the swarming season, because it gives them more room to occupy. This does help reduce swarming. So we're gonna have a proper hive inspection now and see how she's doing. Thank <laughs> you. 
So we can leave this one out, brush a few bees off the bottom. So we've got brood. Now we are looking for queen cells again because it is swarming season. And these look like drones, yep, they're drones. Young larvae and eggs. So she's definitely here, which is very good. And the more upright the eggs are, the fresher they are. So these would have been laid today. So again, you can blow the bees out of the way so you can see. So that all that patch in the middle there is all eggs. And this is all brood. Very healthy pattern. Same as this side. Right, so we do have, yeah, let's have a look. Queen cups. So right on the end there, you can see Okay. Right here, it's a queen cup. Nothing in it. So we'll just check, pry it open. No egg, so we're okay. Some frames like these, they don't draw all the way to the to the edge. So down here is more likely they're gonna have small cells. Again, we've got another queen cup, nothing in it. It's all full of brood again. And pollen. Quite a few on this one. So you can see right here, there's two little acorns. Now, there is something in here, there is an egg. So now we need to really look. It was an attempted queen cell. I'm just going to take out that egg. So take your time when looking because they're very easily missed. Look 
quite a few here. So they are beginning to think about swimming. You can see a couple of cups. See there's a bee in there. Come on. Nothing in that one. It's a bigger one down here. See, there's the royal jelly. You could, if you wanted to split the hive, mm. you could leave these queen cells and then take the frames. Mm. But at the moment, I'm going to knock them all down, extract the honey super, and then give them more room and occupy them for a bit. Mm. See, I'm knocking these down because I know that she's still in here. She's laying eggs. They're fresh eggs too. And we do have time. It's early in the season. So if they want to continue to think about swarming, they can. And I can do different methods. At the moment, they're mostly just rudimentary queen cups. So they're not on full swarm. Again, a load of queen cups on the side. I don't think there's anything in them. We've got a lot of drones. Just be quite thorough. So again, we've got quite a few bees on here. So I think the best thing to do is to shake them. It's gonna make a flight. And when you do have quite a few bees on the sides, you come in with the Queen Excluder going at an angle and gently go round. They do shoot out the way. Same with the Supers. Gently nudge things. This one's very heavy. 
So, hive inspection done. So these will need extracting. They're all capped, so they're all right, it's all ready to go. So we will extract these, put it back on, and I'll have some more room to build and add honey. And that is a, it does help to prevent swarming. But if she does continue and they do want to go, we'll just have to do some other methods. But at the moment, I'm quite happy with this. You could, if you do have the resources to put an another sleeper on, that is an option that would give them even more room to build. But I, I think I'll go with the extraction first, try that. If, if they are still building, another super will be needed. So, thanks for watching. See you next time.